Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. This is going to be just a real quick pickup video. Um, for those who missed what I posted about it on um, Facebook and a couple other places, um, Spartan Games folded shop like a couple weeks ago. And it was kind of a big upset because if you don't know who they are, these are the guys who did um, Firestorm Armada and Dystopian Wars and Uncharted Seas. And they had also recently acquired the rights to do um, uh, the Halo miniatures game. Well, they're back. Sort of. What happened is, is uh, a company called War Cradle Studio got the rights to all their stuff. So, hey, they're not completely dead. And now I feel like a complete freaking idiot because I basically gave all my stuff away. Um, I sold a little bit of it and I gave the rest away. Um, so, maybe, just maybe, I can convince Robert to uh, either sell me my stuff back or um, work out a loan program. Something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to work something out. Okay, so, um, I want to make sure that you guys know what is going on. So, this is, um, coming from Tech Raptor. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, in both a YouTube video and email today, tabletop publisher War Cradle Studios announced that the company had acquired the rights to several properties previously owned by Spartan Games before their shuttering earlier this year. Earlier this year, being a couple weeks ago, or like a month ago, something like that. Um, Dystopian Wars, Dystopian Legions, Armored Clash, Firestorm Armada, Firestorm Planetfall, Uncharted Seas, are now under the War Cradle banner, along with Wild West Exodus purchased last year. Okay, so, remember how I said that it, they had a lot of properties? Notice Halo is not on the list. I suspect, I'm not... I can't say this as an official thing, but my suspicion is um, Halo was probably one of the critical things that caused the uh, Spartan games to fail. So my guess is they decided we're not going to step on that landmine, so they, they let that slide. Um, maybe somebody else will also pick it up. Um, you know, before I keep going with the actual article, let me just say something really fast here. Um, Halo as a miniatures game not a bad idea. Halo as a miniatures game where you have to build things and paint things, very bad idea. The crowd that you're marketing to would probably be more interested in something that they can, you know, buy, unbox, play. Not buy, unbox, build, paint, and the rest, then play. It feels like they'd probably want more of an instant gratitude kind of thing, which was not Spartan Games strong point you know i'm thinking something along the lines of like like the star wars franchise um where it's a case of oh okay i want to play x-wing buy a bunch of miniatures open them up play i want to play armada buy the box open it up play something like that this was not going to be that case all right getting back to the article uh while war cradle, cradle studios has acquired the rights to these properties, it is important to note that War Cradle Studios did not acquire Spartan Games uh, or any of its liabilities. As such, War Cradle is not responsible for fulfilling any owed products such as Kickstarter rewards and majors. Customers who are owed products need to get in contact either with Rebel Publishing or the, uh, your payment provider for, uh, to get a refund. The company received very little actual stock from Rebel Publishing, so looking for a refund may be your best option. War Cradle has also promised to do their best to reach out to Kickstarter backers if they come across any personalized Kickstarter rewards as they take inventory of the stock they've received. Um, let me scroll down here. Uh, War Cradle will also be applying their policy on exclusive miniatures to their new properties as well, rather than simply to make them available uh, to a small number of people during limited uh, windows of opportunity, such as conventions. War Cradle instead makes their uh, exclusive miniatures available for general purchase in the year following their release. For example, the legendary Ra oh man, I'm gonna so screw this up. Rainy Nimu uh, miniature for Wild West Exodus is currently an exclusive miniature, but will be available for general purchase early next year, 
uh, and a new exclusive will take her place. Um, I don't play well with success, so that doesn't mean much to me. Uh, today's announcement seems to, uh, to indicate a shift in the tabletop gaming market. With the advent of crowdfunding, a trend uh, began to develop involving small studios creating a new tabletop game, building a community and customer base, then selling the game lock, stock, and barrel to a major publisher. War Cradle seems to be uh, pushing a variant of this method by purchasing games with a small but dedicated player base but lacking company support and uh, re-releasing them with publisher support uh, that they lacked previously. The company is currently focused on making sure everything is settled and ready uh, before releasing anything for these new games, so don't expect any new releases for these games until 2018. Honestly? It, you, if you really like Spartan Game stuff, this saved it. So it looks like it's a good good move, guys. Um, I just wanted to chime in, let you guys know what's going on, and uh, keep you all posted. Oh, um, just quick plug. Um, I posted about it on Facebook and on the Gamers on Games page, but for those who did not see, um, we need to raise money to get another external hard drive i'm running out of room so the one i'm looking at is about 100 bucks uh our current patreon uh after all the fees and everything else comes out to because I, I looked at the uh the last one that um excuse me i looked at last month's take and um uh or no excuse me not last month uh the month previous uh because last month we raised a lot of extra money because we were giving it to charities uh, but a lot of those people were like, okay, here's a bunch of money, and then they left. Um, our average take is about 35 to $40 um, after all the fees. So we really are going to need some help because we need to make this work, and we definitely need the hard drive because without the hard drive and the extra storage and the ability to clear off things off the hard drive of the computer, um, I can't do larger uh, files. I can't do larger bat reps. I can't do... Uh, panels and I'm staring down the barrel of the, pa of the panel gun because Metatopia is coming up in November I'm going to be doing some coverage there I can't do that if I can't film uh, and I can't do that if I can't process the videos so if you guys could check out our Patreon I'll put a link to it in the description below hit it up check it out please just you know a buck goes a long way it really does um, and cumulatively with everybody contributing an hour, it really adds up and it adds up quickly. Um, we need to be able to get this thing before November. Uh, so we have some time, but not a lot. So again, if you guys could contribute, if you are contributing, please stick with us. I greatly appreciate it. It really does help. You know, the majority of the money either goes to pay uh, content contributors or goes to uh, help us buy new necessary equipment. Um, and for those of you who are going to, to potentially back us, that's where the money goes. It's not lining my own pockets. It's really a case of the money you give us goes right back into the production. So, uh, thanks in advance, and uh, hope you guys like this take on uh, what's going on with uh, Spartan Games and now uh, War Cradle. Later. <laughs>